Kia ora, I'm Steve Wakelin, program leader for the Tree Root Microbiome Program at the Roots of Climate Proofing Forests. The microbiome is the community of microorganisms that are living on and in an environmental system. And perhaps the best system that we all know of is the human microbiome. People have generally heard about the Human Microbiome Program, studying all the living microbes that are living on and in us, and actually how they make us up as humans. They're critically important in many aspects of our health. As you might expect, plants, animals and trees all have microbiomes as well. They can profoundly affect plant functioning from protecting against disease to making nitrogen and other nutrients available, right through to providing an extended sensor network for plants, capable of monitoring the environmental conditions that the plant is in and providing early warning signals of environmental change or even diseases coming. We're looking at the tree root microbiome because tree root systems have very strong parallels to the human gut and brain system. They both hold microhabitats and have incredible richness of species present. And really interesting, both the gut and the human and the soil root and the plant act in a quasi-cognitive manner. So like the gut, the soil microbiome regulates plants' immunity to diseases and alters responses to environmental conditions. And it's these microbes in the soil and on the root that are passing messages to the growing root tips. And this provides a connection or a nexus from the microbes to the soil and the environment right back to the plant. So the plant can understand what's happening in the environment through its interaction with the microbiome. So for our tree root microbiome program, we've chosen Pinus radiata, or Monterey pine, as our model tree root microbiome system. Pinus radiata is native to the southern eastern coast of California and Mexico. It's actually endangered in this native range. And the work that we can do in the program to understand its microbiome and help protect Pinus radiata is really important from a conservation perspective. Paradoxically, Pinus radiata has done very well when it's been taken out of its nature page. In fact, it's one of the most widely planted tree species globally. The other reason that we want to choose Pinus radiata is because we already have an absolutely incredible wealth of information related to Pinus radiata. We have information on its genome, its genome has been sequenced. We understand its physiology, ecology, and we even have tons of silvicultural knowledge. Well, this is a really large and collaborative research program, and the partners involved with us continue to grow. In New Zealand, we have Forest Research Institute, or SION, and Lincoln University, and the Victoria University of Wellington. If we head over to Australia, the Hawkesbury Institute for the Environment out of the University of Western Sydney is a partner on this project, as too is the Plant Phenotyping Centre based at the University of Adelaide. In the US, key partners include folk at the Woodwell Climate Research Centre in Massachusetts and Wright State University in Ohio. To build our understanding of the microbiomes of trees and how they vary and respond to different environmental conditions, we're going to need samples submitted to us from all around the globe. In order to help folk, we have some resources available to guide them through the sampling approach. And on our website, you'll find the directions to sampling, the standard operating procedures, short videos that you can watch to guide you, and resources you can download. We even provide an app to help you go out and collect the data from the field. So please join us, become part of the consortia that publishes the global Pinus radiata microbiome and help us save trees and our forests from climate change.